Hey everyone, I'm Debbie the Restorer, and I've spent my career restoring leather bags to make them look as great as they did when they were made. Today I'm going to talk to you about what makes a coach bag a coach bag, and how you can be sure that yours is authentic. So let's talk about hang tags. The one on the top is from a counterfeit bag, and the one on the bottom is from an authentic coach bag. And as you can see, and this is pretty common, that the counterfeit is larger. The cartouche, meaning the area that says coach, tends to be smaller on counterfeit hang tags and is usually crooked. Another thing that you may see is that the top of the A on a counterfeit tag will be flattened, where an authentic coach branded insignia will have a very pointy A. Another thing that you can look at is hardware. For instance, on this strap, which is from a counterfeit bag, you see this ribbed metal piece here holding this loop of leather together. Coach has never used ribbed metal like this. It's always smooth and it's always covered by leather. That leather may wear out in time, but you'll never see this kind of hardware on an authentic Coach bag. On a newer bag, and meaning newer as of 1994, when Coach changed their hardware and their serial system. This is a counterfeit bag as well. This is post-1994 and it's stamped solid brass. That is something that you will not ever see on a post-1994 coach bag. You may see solid brass or some kind of stamping on the older coach bags when they were hand forged, but these cast solid brass, you will not see this stamping. Another thing that we'll talk about is the story patch, another very iconic part of a coach bag. You'll oftentimes on a counterfeit story patch see misspellings and see X's in place of your K's. You'll also see that the serial will be crooked, will be too small, or will be incorrect for the model number of your bag. The last digits of a coach serial number are always your model, the style of the bag. And if that serial number doesn't match, you can guarantee that your bag is fake. Another thing that you can always look at is the feel of the bag. An authentic coach bag like this, the leather is thick and smooth and soft. The pores are very tight. You'll see things like scratches and veins, that's totally normal, but the leather feels like leather, sounds like leather. On a fake coach bag, the leather feels like plastic. It's coated with a weird coating. You can see lots of pores. It actually looks like vinyl, even though it's leather. And it tends to be a little bit thicker than an authentic coach bag, which makes it feel even more plastic. And it's hard to determine that unless you have an authentic bag to compare it to. But once you've felt an authentic coach bag, as soon as you pick up a fake, it's gonna feel like plastic and it's just not going to feel right. Okay guys, I think that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching and remember, love your leather and it will love you forever. If you haven't already, watch my other videos where I teach you tips and tricks for caring for your coach bag and keeping it looking great. Bye for now!